What happened to you? I just my ankle during a tennis lesson. Does your mom know? I called and told her. Okay, let's go sit down. Come on. What are you even doing here? I'm working on getting Michael community service here at the hospital. What's wrong with the road crew? He got in a fight, um, burned his hand. That's why he ended up here. Is he all right? Yeah, it's nothing serious. And neither is this. The instructor insisted that I see a doctor. I'm sure he's just worried about getting sued. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a doctor for you. Oh, thanks, but I can handle it. No, are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, Christina, you got your cell phone. You're gonna call me if you need me. I will. I promise. I need you to get me the medical records for Christina Corinthos Davis. All medical records must have a court order before being released. Which I have now just produced. And all court orders must be presented to the hospital council. I strongly suggest that you do what I ask. Or I am going to make sure that you end up dumping bedpans for the rest of your career. And I strongly suggest that if you have a problem with my work, you can contact the Human Resources Department. Corintho got to you too, didn't he? Now you'll do anything to protect his little lying slut of a daughter. Excuse me? How did I just hear you refer to a sweet 17-year-old girl? Well, what business is that of yours? She is my son's half-sister that makes her family to me. You have my condolences. It must be a real burden to be related to such trash. Oh, you want to talk about trash, Mr. Bauer? You are the living, breathing definition of the word. Your kid beat Christina up so brutally he got her stuck in the hospital twice. My son is dead because of that little bitch and her mother. If I don't get those hospital records by the end of the day, I am going to sue this hospital for obstruction of justice. If I wasn't in a hospital right now, I would hand that man his ass. Oh, whoopsie. It looks like his papers have been misfiled. Hospital attorneys, well, find out if they've got that court order. Sorry, they said we were supposed to clear the halls. You're gonna save me a lot of time and red tape, you know that? What are you doing here? This is a medical release for your medical records, and I want you to sign it. I got a letter yesterday about Keeper's freshman orientation. It must have been terrible. I know that you appreciate how hard Keeper worked to get into Harvard and how much it meant for his mother and me. He wanted you to be proud of him. I know it's not your fault that your mother is pressuring you to lie about it. And I know you want to do the right thing. You're going to testify in court that Kiefer never hit you. But he did hit me. And I finally understand why. You did the same thing to him. Told the truth the first time, didn't you, Christina? No. Ethan Lovett hit you, remember? And now you're changing your story to help your mom. I should have told my mom the first time Kiefer hit me. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. You've been under a lot of pressure to lie about my Kiefer son. Kiefer was under a lot of pressure. He had to be great at everything, didn't he? Because he didn't want to set you off. That's ridiculous. Kiefer loved you, but he was afraid of you at the same time. My son respected me. He was not afraid of me. I made Kiefer look like a fool in front of a bunch of Harvard guys. But what was even worse, he had to answer to you. Did you beat him up that night? Did you blame him for what I did? Of course not. Did he tell you he beat me up? He didn't beat you up, Christina, and you know that. You sent him over to my house that night, didn't you? Kiefer was so desperate for me to reinstate the charges against Ethan. You told him to make me change my mind. Kiefer knew what was in for him if he failed. I was so proud of him. Now he's gone. 
All the dreams I had for him are gone. Because of you. I'm still be alive if it wasn't for you. And I'll be damned if I let you ruin his reputation when he's not even here to defend himself. I'm telling the truth. You ruined his life! And then your mother killed him. And this whole town is trying to cover it up. I'm room keepers like you did. You lying little witch. Get away from her.